Hi everybody, this is Grace Nae Kwan, aka Grace of Ionity Style, and I hope everyone is well. I am a violinist and a newly developing vlogger, still getting a hang of it. My vlogs are normally on the fun side. It kind of uh, chronicles basically my life here as a uh, hashtag life of a DMA student. Actually, I haven't uploaded anything uh, in the next in the last couple weeks just because life has gotten a, like schedule has gotten crazy and it's mostly because of editing so I apologize for that and there will I am recording so there are new things that will be coming up soon probably in the next six weeks I'm thinking about six weeks from when probably this video will air but I'm making this vlog just in case there is someone out there who is watching I don't know if it's even one person who just didn't know what I what I didn't know and went through something that impacted them negatively about bullying and being accosted. As my viewers know, I'm in uh, chamber groups, many, many chamber groups, and today, the last few days have been alarming, like uh, dysfunctional. I'm gonna leave this person's name out. You have not seen them on a vlog. I have not so no one knows who this person is for the last few weeks um, I have been kind of this person has bullied me into caving in uh, commanding certain times to be available to rehearse the thing with the bullying actually comes from the Korean culture as well and all I think well, mostly my Asian folk will understand, especially Korean folk, because we have this thing called this Onni Dongseng relationship, meaning if you're older, aka Onni, you rule everyone else sucks. And I mean bullying, like I, an unrealistic, for example, I told them uh, they wanted a Saturday rehearsal and I told them I'm not available until 7.30 because that's when I get back into town. Immediate thing she says, can you make a 7? Um, no, I can't make it by 7. And I said, um, I can aim for 7.30, but I guarantee I will be late. I show up, 7, like, 40, get yelled at. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, not everyone is like that. I have met amazing people who are on me, and they are responsible with that title. This person, um, abuse of power much? It was intense. Like, it was kind of like, I say it, so do it. Beep. I can't say it because I, you know, kids watching, like my students watching. But so it's about a full six weeks of just that. And then this Friday, this past Friday, it's Tuesday today, this past Friday, it blew up. I was asked to give another time than our normal slot. Not that we even have a normal slot, which is another big thing for her because apparently our normal spot was the spot that we haven't rehearsed other than two times maybe at the beginning of the semester by accident. After another member of the group has already confirmed that that day is not available. Like on a piece of paper, Wednesday not available, Thursday not available, Friday not available. Seriously? So on Friday, I have to cancel because I have a makeup test, and guess who it's with? The assistant of Chamber. The guy who is responsible for putting this group together. You would think that equals break? No. She like full on flips out. She like goes nuts. My Koreans will understand this. Please, my Korean peoples, please sh make it known that you get this. Korean girls have like by stereotype and by culture have like two go-to moves when they're pissed mocking and hysterically laughing number one there's number three we'll get to that number one is no <laughs> like like even that sounded catty right gosh she immediately starts like laughing hysterically she's like don't you remember what you and she like goes nuts i was like um, back up skirt, I was like, you need to chillax. We are 30 years old. I'm not over 30, you's over 30. You need to back up and chillax. Not to mention we're in a doctorate program. Doctorate, which means there's a higher standard of behavior. She wasn't having it. I was like, we need to stop the drama. Stop with the Korean drama. Just, just stop and let's just pick another date. So over the weekend, it's like, whatever. 
I'm like, okay, I guess we just won't meet up before coaching. You know what? I already talked to don't I already I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I already talked to my, one of my professors about it. He's aware of the situation. My coach is now aware of the situation. We're all good. Okay, whatever. We meet up today for coach for coaching. And I like run into her. I see her behind me. I go, hey. And like she's she's like and I'm like, okay, maybe she's just having a bad day. <laughs> We had a great coaching, it went well. After the coach leaves, and we're scheduling the next time, she's like, hostile. The coaching ends at six, I teach at six, but like right down the hall. So I'm like, can we just do the same time because we're skipping coaching, we have this time open anyway, why don't we just do the 4.30, uh, 5.30 thing? She's not having it. She's she's now like, literally talking over every, I like, go, 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 go. And I'm like, and she's not like letting up. And I keep saying the same sentence because she's not listening. And it's like she's bullying me again to make that time available. And I can't because I've already given that time away to a professor who I'm supposed to be meeting. Hello, I have other stuff to do other than like just this one thing, one group that we don't even perform. It's just like we're like stuck together like by, by, ah! And now the Tuesday version of the pissed off Korean girl comes out and she's starting to mimic, mock, belittle. We're getting like even deeper here, belittle and demean. Talking down to me in Korean. <laughs> and she says something in Korean, which I don't get. And then I, I, I say, I, I, don't, I, I don't even know what that means. And she goes, ah, you don't even know that. I feel sorry for you. Yes, I'm Korean. Yes, I look Asian. I don't know if I look Korean, but I, I look Asian, but I'm not from Korea. I speak English. So I don't understand every single word. So now she's like harassing me about my Korean. Holy guacamole, does she flip out? Like, flip out. Like, what? And she's like, oh, no, who might the And she'll do that with her like, face. And I'm like, okay and i literally said can we act our age <laughs> can we please act our age pick a time and go she's not having it she's going nuts and i'm like okay you know what stop the dramatic stopping the stopping a drama queen we need to pick a time i need to go at this point she like takes off her back the the instrument that's on her back. i'm not gonna say what instrument it is just in case someone at bu is watching this she takes the instrument off her back throws it onto the chair like with all this huff and puff clatter and i'm like just looking at her going like what is she doing and then i see the crazy in her eye and she's got that monkey crazy monkey red like poofy cheeks ear sticking out thing coming right at me and she's like advancing towards me like at crazy like moving stands out of the, like maneuvering around stands and i'm like what is she doing and she got like this close to my face now i wanted to leave so i was like leaning on the door that was already open like wanting to leave she blocks my exit and she's like no, bo -he -bo -he -bo and she's like okay and this is the next thing korean thug life pissed number three is the chin will start making upward aggressive alpha movements so she's like no, bo -he -bo -he -bo -he -bo -he and it's like she's like going like really at me in like korean and english and korean and english and i'm like I was like, what? I, at that time, I was like shaken just because of how fast she had moved and how close she was to me. I, I, I am like, like you are way too close to me. I told her you are invading my private space. You need to back up. It is not okay to be this close to me and this hostile. Like this is like this is all she's doing. Like she's like going nuts with like, and I'm saying that in Korean. But in English, that's the equivalent of, you want to bring it on, you bring it on. I'm like, what are we, like, 18, drunk and in a club? The monkey crazy face? I mean, like, I mean, do I need to take off my hoops? Are you serious right now? You're over 30. We're in our doctor program. Grow up. I'm like, had enough. And I'm like, okay, let's just pick a time. I'm, le I'm leaving. And she's like, no. Nah! She's like, <laughs> she's like, and anyone who understands Korean, you got that? It means no, 
you get in here close the door and since i was blocking the door i was like lean i was just leaning on the door she literally shoves me okay you gotta understand something to understand the gravity of how much force it took this chick is this girl this female a teeny tiny skinny little girl from china i mean not china she's from korea like like a skinny asian girl i am american born american made raised here grown fried chicken loving biscuit eating like mcdonald love it like i i look at me i mean like i don't know what she was thinking i can like sit on you and it, this would be over like are you serious right now what but my mama raised me better so the number one thing that my mom taught me is if there ever is a conflict you stay calm if there's ever raised anything even the tiniest waspiest conflict meaning you didn't do the dishes you don't get violent this chick ain't having it so she literally and this is the reason why i like made sure you knew like she's like this big she pushed me so hard like she attacks like pushes me like with her whole like body checks me out from the door so she can close it now i'm i'm scared about where this is escalating to i'm scared for everybody's situation in that room so i immediately stop the door from closing with my foot and she starts kicking my foot telling me to close the door i immediately told her you need to stop what you just did was illegal you just assaulted me that was the word i actually used you just assaulted me because i heard it before not that i actually knew what it was but what she had done to me i didn't feel like was normal nor okay and this is where the problem was and this is the reason why i'm making the video she says i didn't attack you like that i moved you out of my way because you wouldn't close the door immediately making it my fault that she had to body check me then she says the next thing that uh, was not okay. I said, I'm gonna call the police. She's like, call them, like with her chin still going. Let's see what they do, let's see what they do. And my phone has turned off, my phone has died at this point. So I'm like, I'm like stuck. I can't call the other chambermates in my group is just watching this happen. What do I do? I mean, like I'm stuck. She's like blocking the exit. Let me tell you the third most alarming thing that happened today. When this was all going down, there was two other members of my group in that room, both Asian. And no one did anything. No one did anything to stop the situation from escalating. And when it did escalate to the point of physical contact, they didn't stop it. And the oldest person in the group just went, Egi, Agi, Agidira? Agidira, stop. Agidira, it's like children, stop. I know things are different in Asia. My mom has told me a lot of stories. I have never lived in Asia. And I guess in Asia, what they witnessed was normal because her saying, Agidira, oh, okay, let's just pick a time. She was unfazed by it. Okay. Number one, I live in the United States of America. God bless the United States of America. And what happened today According to our criminal law system, what happened today was not legal, was not okay. What you witnessed and allowed to happen was not okay. If you want to do your thug life, go back to Asia, do you, but in America, not okay. Learn the rules. So just to comply with what she's saying, she calls out a time, like 3.30, just, just anything, let's just, I just let me go out of this room. She's like, why couldn't you offer that earlier? See, this is why we have to fight. Why do you always have to give us a time after we fight? I'm like, because you're making me. This is the actual definition of bullying. So I finally get to my student uh, almost 20 minutes late and I tell, and I'm like shaking. He's like, what's going on? And he's a, one of my adult students. And I tell him what happened. He's like, oh no, that's not okay. Report that beep. I hate how close I had come to self-defending of myself. I know for a lot of people, self-defense is righteous, kind of uh, free right to throw down. For me, it's not like that. For me, the fact that you would have to be in a put, a, put in a position to even protect yourself by shoving someone is not okay. At first, I thought I was maybe just sensitive to what had happened. 
maybe it was okay to get shoved maybe it was okay that maybe that really isn't assault because it wasn't a fist it wasn't blood it wasn't bruises maybe that's it so I call what I thought was just like a hotline to to weigh my options like what can I do is there someone I can just email about the situation because the fact that it escalated so much to now there's physical contact I don't know what's gonna happen next time so I look up um, campus safety that's what I look up and I call this toll-free number and it turns out it's the BUPD now for anyone who's not in Boston or don't know we have our own police department it's a uh, the BU branch of the Boston Police Department so I told him what I told you um, at the time I was uh, upset I was that was forced into a position I didn't want to be in and uh, he says okay what just happened what you just went through is called assault and battery and then witness intimidation when she said who you gonna call what are they gonna do they can't do anything for you I'm on the phone with them they have like a female come on just because I, I feel like so like she's like um, I think we need to file a police report that way you have it for yourself as protection for yourself so this officer I was talking is nice enough to come here and take my police report and she tells me something I didn't know intimidation apparently is also not okay it's harassment it's harassment that you can press charges with I didn't know you can press charges for that I didn't even know what pressing charges really entailed for anyone who's watching who may have been bullied into a situation backed into a corner there are some things you need to know if someone gets in your face like that into your personal space in a threatening way where you actually fear for your safety warn them and then you are allowed to physically move them away from you not a beat down please don't do that but you are allowed to move them out of your way I didn't know that I know all I knew was BU has a zero tolerance on physical violence that was like hardcore like install orientation week they have a zero tolerance policy here like plagiarism and physical violence done out you're gone why am I making this vlog number one it's a record of what just happened for me to honestly remember what happened I'm kind of like the forgive forget kind of thing second I don't I don't want anyone to not know, any of my viewers to not know, especially one of my students, especially one of my students who are at the prep schools, the high schools, the where the where something like this can happen. Anytime someone touches you without permission, especially in a situation of a hostile environment, that's assault. Period. Next thing, witness intimidation I didn't know this was for anything other than someone maybe like in a trial or jury if you say you're gonna call the police and they say anything to talk you out of it anything to belittle you in that situation that's witness intimidation and that is also a criminal offense meaning it's illegal you can press charges number three you should always always be able to report what happened without fear of something happening I trust my school I trust BU I mean I picked BU out of all the other schools for a reason and yes Zazoski and yes the program and yes the music the broke everything yes yes of course the environment everything yes but I also picked the school because I I believe that BU had integrity so the last part of this vlog is to see to see if they're going to be accountable to what they told me that every student is protected here. I need to know that for sure. You know, if you make it to this portion of the vlog and if you had a situation and you did something about it, I would love to know about it. Um, and I hope this helps even one person. I hope it's not just me talking to a camera <laughs> like one o'clock in the morning <laughs> all right it's getting late I need to finally eat and then go to sleep uh, now that I'm I'm not so shaken <laughs>
<laughs> all right so thank you so much for watching um please subscribe to see me on happy days <laughs> my normal self and uh stay tuned i'll let you know what happens through the school with the situation who knows they might just tell me to suck it up uh, you only have three weeks of school left so suck it up i don't know they might be really good and then uh, she might actually have to pay for what she did thank you so much for watching please leave me comments below i would love to know what people did in their situations like it will give me the knowledge that if any one of my students ever come to me with a situation i can direct them correctly and just make sure that they're always always protected not just my students my friends my family my just every human being <laughs> you know anyway thanks for watching have a wonderful night peace